Terminator Resistance. A very underappreciated game that turned out to be really damn good. This is DHG. If you like my content, do subscribe. Back to the hideout. Jacob, how is Pasadena? You know what? Forget I asked. I don't want to know. I'm just glad that you're all right. And how are you doing? I guess I'm a little nervous before tomorrow. I never asked you. What are you planning to do tomorrow? I've been meaning to tell you earlier, but I panicked. And that's because I decided to go with Ryan. We'll find somewhere safe, away from all this. You have to understand, I need to do what's best for Patrick. I'm his big sis. I need to protect him. I... I haven't told him yet. He'll be devastated leaving you and Aaron, but I think it's for the best. Aren't you curious about what happened in Pasadena? No. I think I'd rather keep that place in the past. <coughs> Actually... I have a confession to make. I've never been outside of Pasadena until now. Can you believe that? How is that even possible? With all the people constantly stopping by, there was always plenty to do at the house. I did my traveling through pictures and postcards that wanderers brought with them. My favorite had a little flamingo drinking water from a lake on it. Its long red neck curved like a snake. Patrick's mother gave me that postcard. Hmm. It's funny how I never met my mother, but I was around to see Patrick's leave him. I thought Patrick was your brother. In our house, we were all brothers and sisters. But me and Patrick, we've always had this special bond. Felt what the other one was feeling. <laughs> We'd even get sick together. I remember the day Patrick's mom brought him in. They were both tired and dirty, so we took care of them. Patrick was crying a lot. He was teething at the time. I think that was what scared her away. She just couldn't handle the crying. How was she? I loved her. For the time she was with us, I liked to pretend she was my mother, too. After she took off, I was devastated. But my father said, You need to grow up. You have a brother now. So I burned the postcard. The little red flamingo flew up in flames. I promised myself I'd never be weak again. But I guess we all need someone we can be weak with sometimes, don't we? Anything to trade? Oh yeah, I'll definitely take some health kits. Oh yeah, and sell this shit. Don't need that. Oh, you only got two? Well then, I'll take some pipe bombs as well. And these things? That's garbage. Don't need that. Slows down time. Yeah, slows down your rate of fire too. My reactions aren't that slow. That's supposed to reduce the amount of damage you get, but I haven't really noticed a whole hell of a lot from it. Maybe I'll try it out more. <sighs> a few hours later. Wake up. Wake up, bitch. We need to move. What? What's going on? Everyone, wake up! You need to get out of here. Who the fuck are you? It doesn't matter. What matters is that you can't stay here any longer. She asks a question, and I suggest answering. You don't want to do that. I've got this place rigged with explosives, and there's a detonator in my pocket. You got what? Would you mind? Lower your gun, Ryan. He's the one that saved my life. What do you want from us? 
You have to get out of here. Skynet's on its way. They finally found you. What do you mean they found us? They were looking for us? Not for you. For him. He's essential to winning this war. Skynet knows that. That's why they've been following him for months. I have to make sure nothing happens to him. In a couple of minutes, an infiltrator will walk in here trying to kill him. I can't let that happen. We have to bury that Terminator here once and for all. All right, everybody, you heard him. Let's get moving. I'll get the bus ready. There's no time for that. There's a passage here. It will lead you out. Use it. What was that? Dun, dun, dun. All right, everyone, get out. Jacob! Give me that. It's the same one. It's the same model. Leave! Now! How the hell is he still alive? Go! 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 Watch out! Don't just stand there! Run! Bad guys don't run when they pursue you. They just walk. It's cooler that way. And to the resistance shelter. Baron, listen to us. She could no longer deny that this infiltrator was a real threat. She decided to take everyone in, on her terms. The shelter was on high alert, but thanks to the intel I gathered in Pasadena, we slowed the advance of the Annihilation Line and gained some time. Just enough to start preparing the counterattack. Two weeks later... Oh, I've got skills. Stealth? No, thank you. Toughness. Yeah, that comes in handy. Backpack? Yeah, I've been having a problem with that. Backpack's always getting full. Ah, I haven't had time to explore this place yet. Lots of bullets. Looks like got some 40 millimeter LV low velocity, I'm guessing. Yeah. It looks like it was modeled after the 50 BMG. I can't think of what that thing's called. M1919 or something like that. Or maybe that's the 30 caliber version. I don't know. Locked. Yeah, I won't sit on that unless you want to board up your ass. Of course, Sergeant, this guy might like that. Well, look at you, Sergeant. When you helped us in Pasadena the other day, I was trying really hard not to panic because you were only a private. Sorry for underestimating you. I guess I should salute or something. How's Patrick? Every day a little better. Aaron says he'll be back on his feet in no time. She's done a great job with him. Her right she eye looks really weird. Like she's got a black eye or something. Anything. I don't know if that's the lighting or... Getting ready for another scavenging run? No, I just came out here to catch my breath. Baron is giving us the entire evening off, believe it or not. Doesn't sound like her. I need to report to Baron. No, it's just lighting, I think. Eh, who knows? Knock, knock, motherfucker. Rivers. DN 46890 
Their outfits the are so weird looking. The control room, Sergeant. Maraschino cherries. I don't get it. How did they bring that buggy down here? Maraschino cherries? Maraschino? Whatever. What do you got? Do you need anything? Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Yeah. <laughs> um, that sounded a little weird. Can I see your hardware? He'd be like, oh yeah, it's hard all right. Wait, I forgot to check. Has he got the good stuff yet? Can I see your hardware? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, he's got one of the better things there. I don't know if I get one of the red. Yeah, it all uses the same ammo. I'm not doing it. Do you need anything? He likes taking a look at his hardware, sorry. Can I see your hardware? Where's the resident nerd at? <clears throat> Get a side quest from him at some you point. Right? Me? Honey, I'm about the most well-adjusted person in this goddamn place. It's the others you should be concerned about. You mean Ryan? Ryan ain't so hot either, but that's another story. Jennifer? I'm worried about her. I'm the one that asked Baron to give her team a little break. Jennifer's been busy scavenging supplies for the soldiers, and she hardly had time to see Patrick. And now she's finally got a day off. She's avoiding him like the plague. How's Patrick doing? He's fine, but it wouldn't kill you if you checked on him yourself. Is there anything you need? No. I have to say, the Resistance is pretty well supplied. Don't tell me you miss running errands for me. I don't believe that for a second. And what about something other than medicine? Honey, I'm not shy. I'll let you know if I need anything, okay? But thank you for asking. Take care. How are you doing? Good. Aaron's going to let me leave in a couple of days. Where are Thanks you gonna go? Job. I've been drawing a lot. I'd be so bored without it. How do you like living in the shelter? There's a lot of people Sucks, here. dick. I like that. I heard a funny joke yesterday. You want to hear it? Oh, God. Yeah, tell me. What's brown and sticky? A stick. The fuck? I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. All right. How's Jennifer? She's out a lot, but I understand. She's a scavenger. I have to go. There's Wolfie. Pets are so loyal. Well, not all of them. Actually, no, I've never had one that wasn't. It's getting more and more crowded. Alton lost his spider scout again. Man, I saw it crawling through the shelter earlier. Almost gave me a heart attack. Should I've even had neighbors' pets take uh, take a liking to me a little too much. Yeah, you might think these medications are well over their expiration date, and they probably are. But I've seen studies where they tested medications and pharmaceuticals that had been expired for like ten years, and they only lose maybe about ten percent effectiveness. So, totally worth not throwing things out. Memorandum, John Connor. Commander Baron, I was very pleased to read the mission report from Pasadena. You were probably aware of this, but it is essential that we mobilize all the troops in your area and abandon and level three outposts. Abandon all three level outposts. I understand the con consequences and will take full responsibility for this. As for Private Rivers, I believe he deserves recognition for his actions. Perhaps a promotion is in order. 
I will leave that decision to you. I want you to keep him close. Very close. Like lying on your bed. That happens later. Hey, junk in the trunk. You wanted to see me. You're finally here. Good. I have a special task for you. I want you to head downtown to check on the doctor. Doctor? Alvin. He's out there making sure that our defense systems are working properly. Ever since we went radio silent, I had a small team of trustworthy messengers maintaining communication between our outposts. They haven't returned, so I want you to go downtown and see why that happened. Could be nothing. But Connor doesn't want any hiccups while he's up there in North Division preparing the attack on Skynet's central core. I wonder if the Resistance is only centralized to California. Is there a problem with the radio? The Annihilation Line is within spitting distance of downtown. We suspect that Skynet will be intercepting downtown all what, Los Angeles? Location. So for now we're going radio silent. That's why I need you to go there personally. Central Core? Skynet's main reactor. The source of all their power. We shut down the Central Core, we shut down Skynet. Connor's preparing the attack as we speak. So you understand we can't have any critical complications at this stage. We can have complications, just not ones that are critical. If you don't mind me asking, how did you end up here? Excuse me if I act a little surprised, Sergeant. But no one in here thinks it's wise to ask their superior personal questions. But since you did, I'll humor you. So, how did I get here? The same way you did. I was born, raised, and given a gun. I don't think she was born. She was really probably a assembled. Do we? Or do I assume too much? Was it any different for you? Hmm? Why do you fight, Sergeant? I like the smell of blood. Because it's the right thing to do for the right side of history. We don't have a choice. You either fight or die. We're just going through the motions. Humans were fighting humans since the beginning of time. It just so happens that right now we have a common enemy. If it wasn't for the machines, we'd probably be fighting each other. Mm, there's a little bit more nuance to that, but... This is a very, a very misanthropic view we're getting into here. Considering that a lot of the wars could have been prevented. Like World War I, World War II, both totally preventable. Never had to happen. So, I guess we should thank the machines for teaching us compassion. I guess we should. I have my special way of thanking them. A shot to the skull from a plasma rifle. Besides, I'm not a fighter. When I go out there in the middle of the night with my Westinghouse, I'm not looking for a fight. I look to seek and conquer. I'm not a fighter. I'm a bully. Westinghouse. I don't know of any weapons manufacturers by that name. They make TVs. Maybe they started making plasma weapons. Hmm. Terminator Universe. Who wants to be a bully? Who wants to be a bully? Believe me, there will come a time when you'll become whatever you need to be to survive. No one ever stands up to bullies. Like a rap that battle artist? Has its downsides. One of them being that no one ever asks me a personal question. At least not since Perry died. So congratulations, universe. Perry was her pet hamster. I guess since your promotion, you got a little more cocky. Good for you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's got dreads. Cultural appropriation. Uh-oh. Nah. This game already got attacked by Woke once. If you don't know what that was, this game had two sex scenes in it. One with her and one with Jennifer. They were completely optional, but originally they were uncensored. You know, like The Witcher 3 and just about every other game that had sex scene in it. 
But for some reason, Microsoft and Sony felt the need to censor this one. Because... Gasp. It was heterosexual. Imagine that. But then again... A lot of the ones in uh, Witcher 3 were, but... CD Projekt Red published their own game. So that's how they probably got away with that. Actually, I'm not so sure about that. They still had to uh, work with Sony and Microsoft to get it on their consoles. I know, that's what this game had to do. If it would have been a PC-only release, then it wouldn't have been censored. That pissed a lot of people off, too. Because censorship does nothing, ever. No one ever benefits from censorship except tyrants and dictators. We need a medic over here. I'm telling you, I saw something. What the censorship is about doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. That's what a lot of the people forget. What's happening, Private? A couple of aerials flew in and dropped containers full of metals. They started shooting while our defense systems did nothing. What about the doctor? Where's Alvin? He's still out there. All right. There's one more thing. Before I got hit and dragged here, I saw something. I'm not sure, but I think it was one of our own soldiers that led Skynet's attack. Nope, that would be the infiltrator. Well, if there's metals out there, then. Sergeant, we're outnumbered. And it they looks like a pilot. More wounded. We don't stand a chance. We have to evacuate. Is Alvin still there? He is, sir. Then we're not leaving. We have to bring him back and see what the hell is going on with those defenses and brief Commander Baron on what's happening here. I'm moving out. You stay those here with the wounded. Those rifles of theirs look like they the were modeled silence? after M1 point, carbines and AKs. Go ahead, sir. Very interesting look they have. You two follow me. We have to reach those defense systems. Yes, sir. Run, motherfucker. Spiders up ahead. Got it. Lead the way. Oh, it's down? All right. What's the status? We've got a defensive perimeter set up just down the road. Doesn't seem to be working. Sky that rock reinforcements behind the back. Now they need to be a rock in the hard place. Alright, we need to reach our guys. Let's clear the way. Any more of those barrels in the fur? Yeah, there's one right there. Let's make sure I got my shit equipped. Yeah, I do. Alright. See if one of these things actually does anything here. Take out those smaller units. Yep, 
Yeah, it does reduce damage a little bit. Hitting me from oh, you son of a bitch. You never know where those things are gonna go. Now, shoot before it reboots. The Flamin' Ververs. here. Yeah, cluster up right there for me. Beautiful.
Yeah, I'll get there after I'm done looting everything. And shoot these things, because they're fun. those tanks. It's more like a giant death machine. Let me, let me get another look at that huge thing. I don't know. I think they could have made them a little bit bigger. my cover. things are so much fun. Now where's that ammo? Get out of here, bitch. Oh. oh my god, I'm actually glad to see you. Oh my god, I'm You're so glad to see you. Not working. I wet myself. Target filtering has been reset to non hostile One of Baron's messengers came with the order to temporarily change it, so I did. We need to leave now. Yes, let's do that. Looks like All you've been that. infiltrated. Are you alright? We need to move. You don't have to tell me twice. Escort secured. Go. It would appear that the infiltrator like pulled an auto Scorzani on them. Effective. No shit. It's turning around. Right behind us. Don't look I'll back. be able to deal Good with that idea. thing at some point here. Can I have a look at your hardware? You go talk to Commander Bear and I've had enough excitement for one day. I gotta go clean this piss off of my drawers. Lay still. Don't move. Thanks for getting us out of there, Sergeant. Hey, there's Ryan. 
What's up? I know you're busy, but I found something. Something I think you'll like. A tape from back in the day. I it's not the village people, is it? Boom box is busted, so uh, get out there and find one that works. Bring it to me, okay? Can't you ask Jennifer or one of the other scavengers for help? I already did, but they couldn't find anything. Just think about it, okay? Just think about it. Give it a little think. Jacob. How are the wounded doing? The few that came back, they're doing fine. We patched them up, and at this point, we're just sitting and waiting. What's in your mind? Ever since you asked me about Peter, I can't stop thinking about him. Like a teenage girl. <laughs> That's your fault, young man. Have you tried looking for him? I've looked for him for a while. I went to the place where we said we'd meet if we ever got somewhere. But he wasn't there. Maybe it's stupid. Maybe I should stop thinking about him. He's, he's probably dead by now. God knows he can't take care of himself. Do you want to find him? Sometimes I think I should drop everything and go. I would get an earful from Baron, but she's nothing I can't handle. Anyway, what I didn't tell you before is that during Judgment Day, I lost a child. Our child. I don't know if it would have happened anyway, but I like to blame the machines for that. I think that Peter felt with Taylor we would give her a second chance. God, he's still out there waiting for me, isn't he? Probably sitting in his rocking chair back in our house in the Hollywood Hills. Oh, where the hell are you, Peter? Hollywood Hills. There's an expensive area. There's Wolfie. Kind of looks like the Washington Monument, but I'm not positive. Where's... I don't want to talk to her just yet. Where's that quartermaster at? I think I walked right by him. Sector B. He doesn't got a side quest yet. Alright, here's the quartermaster. I want to come take a look at this hardware. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Spend all my money on health kits. I got shit to sell. Pretty soon I'm not gonna need to carry that around anymore. I suppose I could sell all that. Oh yeah, that gave me some money. And them. A laser guided missile. Oh, he's got it now. That takes care of the flying HKs, the hunter killers. Let me get the mods, whoops, wrong button. Get the mods out of here and sell this thing. All right. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Can I see your hardware? I'll take this sucker. Those are kind of useful. These are not. These are always good. So are those. Now you see why I hoarded so much shit at the beginning of the game. All 
Oh, I could probably sell those. I never use those fuckers. Do you need anything? Can I see your hardware? Waste of space in my inventory. Okay, now this gun is all about the damage. I'm not going to be able to get three damage chips lined up here. At least not good ones. Fire rate, that might help a little bit. Okay, I think I see a working combo. Wunderbar! <coughs> now, I've got a locket launcher. Meeting dismissed. I can just picture all these resistance guys sitting there paying attention like schoolboys. Like, hey man, our teacher's really hot. Rivers, you want to explain to me what the hell happened? We lost downtown. I know that much. But how's that possible? What happened to our defense systems? You've Alvin been says one infiltrated. of our soldiers came with an order directly from you to reset the target settings for non-lethals. He said what? Ah, oh, all right. This is what I want you to do. Find whoever is responsible for sending that order. All the messengers have GPS tracking, so we're keeping tabs on their location. Find them and bring them to me. Understood. And Rivers, despite what I might say about our resident egghead, I truly have a hard time believing that my men are incompetent. So expect the unexpected. And you know what I mean by that. Do you think the infiltrator's back? We won't be sure until you find those messengers and confirm my suspicion. I don't remember, but I get the feeling that all the what? messengers are dead. One of our soldiers said that it looked as if one of our guys led Skynet's attack. That only supports my case. As soon as you know what's going on, radio me. Who's Perry? You mentioned him before. The best soldier I ever fought beside. He was the one who brought me into the resistance. It's actually a funny story. Years ago, when I was just a kid, I saw a Skynet drone attacking some guy. Without thinking, I grabbed a rock and jumped on it. The guy was screaming the whole time while I beat the metal to the ground. Only when I was done did I realize he was trying to stop me. You killed a drone with a rock? You killed a drone with a rock? Uh, I was young and stupid. Thank God the drone wasn't really armed, otherwise I wouldn't be here to tell you the story. He was a resistance scientist, and that drone was one of his projects. So you can imagine, he wasn't too happy when I smashed it to pieces. But he wasn't alone. There was this huge guy with a rifle on his shoulder, almost choking with laughter. I sure made his day. That huge guy? Was that Perry? Yes, it was. Commander Perry was in charge of this division before me. That scientist later told me that was the first time he ever heard Perry laugh. Somehow, Perry and I connected. He taught me how to channel my anger and get it under control. He introduced me to Connor, and that's how I got to the 132nd. Whatever happened to the scientist? He was always doing his experiments, trying to outsmart Skynet. One day you fucked up. And because of that, he's no longer with us. I never thought I'd be reminiscing about the day I met them. This may come as a surprise to you, but it was the first metal I ever destroyed. I think I run into that scientist's den at some point here, maybe in in the next episode. Sounds like you were late in joining the Destroy Skynet campaign. Before that, it was people, not machines. But that's a different story. You want me to break radio silence? They have a head start on us. At this point, we can't afford to lose any time. Oh. 
sit there. Don't go anywhere. All right. There's Patrick. You got a side quest? Patrick, you're up? There are people who need help more than me. Anyway, I can't talk. I have to bring something important to Aaron. Yeah, she's right behind you. I keep thinking these are Terminators. 